Okay, so hello and welcome to another video. I want to start this video off actually by apologizing because I played a game of Fortnite and I forgot to have the camera on. I thought the camera was rolling and I was talking to the camera like the camera was rolling. I mean, I, 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 I felt like an idiot after because I've been talking to, I've been talking to nothing. But mind you, I do that most of the time. I'm doing that now really not. Come on. No, nah, no, nah, you guys are listening. Anyway, but today's video is all about Fortnite. Now, Fortnite is a game that I really enjoy. I love playing Fortnite, it's so fun. But what I find is that <laughs> I'm not very good at it yet. So before we get into the video, I want you guys to do the usual, you know by now, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, comment down below what you think about this video, comment down below for what other games you would like to see, and also don't forget to share the video because it does help me a lot if you do it. So on with the video guys. Hey guys, so here we go into Fortnite, jumping out the bus, opening the glider like an amateur. And now, what I have been, what I've learned is that flying towards the water, apparently that helps you get a bit more um, skydiving time and you can kind of land faster than other players. So, tried that out here, not too sure if it worked, but I felt like that it did help. I suppose nobody's landed near me, which is good. I didn't see anybody coming with me. And I spot this house, it looks like it's got lots of goodies in it. Missed this top floor, go back upstairs, pick up a little submachine gun looking around and I, I didn't realize there was chests, there's ammo crates that you can actually um, you know you can actually uh, search and get the, the, the ammunition and stuff out of them which is always handy to know now <clears throat> I can see that I'm uh, I'm on my own which is good so good start now I'll do a bit of farming and it, this bit is really interesting there's a lot there's a little bit of uh, I don't know what we call this that tree doesn't even go I'm not getting any wood from it but it's not disappeared until now that's a bit of a Weird one, bit of a glitch. So, farming away. Wasting time doing this. I realize I'm only getting one piece, two pieces of wood. The trees are the way to go if you want to farm lots of wood. So, jumping around here. Here we go, more wood. Collecting all of that. Another thing that I think that a lot of people make mistakes on, and I'm certainly guilty of it, is this next upcoming piece of gameplay now. You see these uh, potions, I pick it up and I think what a lot of new players do, I mean I was guilty of it, it was picking the potions up and then don't drink it, like that's silly, you, there's no point saving them because you might as well carry it on as your shield, there's no point having it if it's not going to benefit you just sitting in your inventory because A, it's taking up a slot and B, you've not got the shield on you, it's serving no purpose sitting in your inventory if you require it. So. My tip is to always drink the potions as soon as you get them, providing you're in a safe position, obviously. Um, because I'm on my own here, I can start, I hear some chests, and I'm like, surely not. And I'm trying to get up this truck, which I struggle uh, ridiculously with. And uh, for some reason, I can't build in and around it either. So I try to think, how am I supposed to get up here? Then eventually, I just realized that I'm supposed to just jump. And you will see that just now. There you go, jump up, there's a little chest there. Open it up. Another potion, ammunition, uh, another assault rifle, drink tea. Again, pop that potion. As soon as you get a potion, pop it. That puts me to 100, 100. Perfect. Fully ready to go. Really look in a good position here. We've got some good weapons. Not got any bandages or anything like that yet, so that's a bit of an issue, but I'm sure in the gameplay we'll find it. I'm sure there's... And then again, I hear another chest here. And so, there we go. And we land here. And then let's see what's in this one. AR, you know, you need that assault rifle. In my opinion, the assault rifles are key. I mean, that beside the scar, uh, you have to have an assault rifle like that, but otherwise, you will struggle. So, I rearrange here a little bit as well because, again, another massive tip that I can give to new players and things like that is organize your inventory so that every time you land and you play, it's the same layout that you're used to. You know, you want to try and get into a pattern. Pattern is the key to having uh, consistency. So we're running around here more, collecting more wood, because again, ready for... I'm always thinking end game, you know, like how much um, uh, inventory I have for wood, brick and metal, and uh, obviously ammunition is a massive part of it, but not got much ammunition yet either, which is not very good. And here I spot someone in the distance, I don't think you can, can you just see him there, he's just by that water fountain, and he's just, I, I don't know what he's doing, I think he's collecting stuff. 
So I'm thinking to myself, how do I get near him? Because I think he's a bit too far away. I don't want him to know I'm here. And I, th I thought he spotted me there. So I'm aiming at him, ready to take rounds at him, ready to shoot at him. But obviously I see he hasn't spotted me yet. And I can see now he's healing. Right now he's healing the bandages. So I think this is my chance. And so there we go. He had a chance. He, how he was down to very low health. I think he, I don't know how much health he had. It was, I got him with about four or five rounds. So I might, he might have been nearly full. So good thing is he dropped some bandages, which are always welcome. Uh, what else does he have? Green salt rifle, green shotgun, sorry. Uh, plenty of supplies, ammunition. And I think at this point I realised that I need to get my backside into the ring because it's time running down. There's only seven seconds left. So Fatal Fields is another popular place to land. So it, it gets popular because a lot of people land here because there's a lot of stuff. But then the thing is, you have to contend with a lot of other players. So I've kind of... I never landed here before, actually. So, but it's a very good place. It's a very even place to, to land, I think. It's a lot of... It's, you know, there's not much advantage to anybody in particular where you land. It's kind of a very even place to land. So if you die there, it's because maybe you didn't play as well. You could have, but it's still a... It's, it's a fair place to land. That's what I'm... Let's just leave it at that. So I'm running here. The, not too far from the circle. Obviously, this room has been looted by the looks of it, so we'll leave that, come back out. Now, this is something I've always, this is a new thing I've started to kind of really think about is height advantage. I need to get as high as I can so I can get the advantage. Height is such a massive part in this game. If you if you don't have a high ground, then forget it because uh, you know, if somebody's looking down onto you, is always going to have the advantage. More ammunition here and um, yeah, jumping around. Pretty sure I hear some shots here, so I think there's a sniper around checking. And so, still scanning around. See some loot over here. Now, the problem with loot as well is loot could be trapped. You know, you could it could be left there on purpose for you to to bait somebody in. So you need to be very careful when you're approaching lots of loot that's just lying in the middle of nowhere, because it could be a um, it could be a trap. So. Going down the side of the mountain, sticking to the rim of the circle. Um, again, um, making these platforms so I don't take any fall damage. I know you can slide down the mountain facing forward and running into it, but I'm not really, I've not perfected that yet, so I'd rather not take the chance. And so, find a post up in this house. There's lots of lag here. I remember this very well. There's lots and lots of lag. It's Lag is something that I think, I don't know if it's my connection or if it was the servers or whatnot, but there was a lot of lag here, I do remember that. And we're just kind of chill here for a little bit to see what happens with the rest of the players that are straggling behind. So I'll just speed this up a little bit so we can move on because I chill here because I can see the circles coming in and I want to make sure there's nobody falling behind. But I'm pretty sure I hear a lot of gunfire now and start to farm a little bit. And move away now this is an interesting thing i wanted to talk about was is get combat engaging in certain fights now here i start farming the tree and in the distance i'm sure i clock somebody building and yeah there you go you can see somebody building ahead now i'm thinking to myself they're going in the direction of the circle but what's the point in engaging in the fight i don't need to know let them know that i'm here i can get a little bit further towards the circle maybe even go around them to kind of get in front of them so they have to come to me so that's what I do here, I run up the hill, avoiding all the fighting, running away from all the battling, because I don't really want to get involved just yet, because I don't, I've got, I'm, I'm in a good shape, 100, 100 and things like that, but why engage in a battle when I don't need to, you know? Um, so I'm collecting some more supplies here, and uh, just seeing if we can, you know, get something deep. Like really, realistically, Sniper is a huge part of the game. I think to get to the end of the game without a Sniper, uh, it, it puts you in a disadvantage massively because the sniper is probably the most, you know, useful weapon in end game. From for in my opinion, so always try to keep an eye out for our sniper. So again, here we're just moving forward towards a circle, salty springs. Not another place that I like to land. I like to land quite far away. I like to play the coward way. I like to stay away from the big places, pick up the loot that I can, then go to town with the few players left. And as you can see. I've got one kill and there's only 23 players left. Now, again, here, this is what I'm talking about, not engaging. I see the guy running in the distance. He's building ladders. Well, ladders, whatever you're going to call it. He's building 
he's building, right? So I'm thinking to myself, well, he hasn't seen me. I've seen him. He's built what I was going to build anyway. So why not use what the man has built or woman has built behind and just use it, right? So I run up here and I'm thinking to myself, as I'm running, I'm thinking to myself, he will not be checking his six. There's no way somebody would build something like this and not be checking the six because he wouldn't think. But I'm very cautious and I see now he's built on top of another hill. So there you go. Again, high ground. Always aim for the high ground. Now, this piece of footage is very interesting. I know that he's there and he doesn't know that I'm here. So what do I do for me? I'm going to sit on this ledge and see if I can make, wait for him to make a mistake. But what happens, this is another massive tip that I want to tell you guys about, is sitting still. Do not sit still in Fortnite. Because if you sit still, you have to remember, when you're playing this game, somebody else is watching you. You have to always play like that. Because this happens. A guy absolutely owns the life out of me nearly. He puts me from 200 down to just 35. And my first thing is bandage, bandage, bandage. Get the bandages on, heal up, heal up, heal up. Because now, this guy is now engaged with the guy on top of the hill. Because he's fired those rounds, the guy in the fort has now seen him, heard him. And they're going at it. They're building away. They're two are involved with each other. So my chance now is to get high ground. How do you get high ground? Just build up the way. Just build and build. And even if they see you build, don't worry about it. Because as soon as you get the height on them, you're in a good position. Now, from here, I should have really put some walls around there maybe to give myself a bit more protection. But I was a bit... I was a bit nervous, not going to lie. I was a bit nervous. And I'm thinking, about where are these guys? But again, I'm moving a lot, making sure I'm not a sitting duck for anybody. And again, I see a guy running into the storm. Now, this guy's health must be down. He must be running for a long time. And the guy who was there is now engaging with him as well. Catch him with a round. And I, and I, I just cannot hit him with another round. I hit him with another one, but he got the kill. So he's going to be injured. His health will be down. And I take him out for an easy kill. So... The high ground there actually gave me the advantage of staying away from the engagement, but putting all the rounds down, not taking any damage, and eliminating two players. Uh, so I go here and I collect all this lovely loot, blue AR, and there we go. Got the jug potion, tank that as well, so I get back up to a decent amount of shield level. And the sniper, picking up the sniper, that is it. I was so glad to get this. And I'm just kind of thinking, what else can I take from it? I'm trying to decide what to drop, what to keep. I mistake I made here watching it back is the potion back there. I never picked it up and drank it. I should have. It was lying there all on its own and I just leave it. Blame there. I just look at that and I just say, ah, oh, don't worry about it, don't need it, and I just leave. And then I think to myself, oh, there get the shotgun. See, it's not all about the weaponry. You have to think also also about the things that will get you to the end of the game, the things that protect you and save your life later on. And off we go now towards the circle because we have 30 seconds before that storm starts moving again. So just gonna speed this up now because another tip that I wanted to talk about is building in Pacific areas. Now, obviously the circle is getting very small as we can see and there's still 12 players left so it's gonna be a bit hectic. Now, I'll make a mistake of choosing to build next to an object. I was camping here to make sure I had some cover and then what happens, somebody spots me and they start shooting at me again, down to 20 health. I mean, I do not know how the hell I survived this game, to be fair, this far, because I should have died. And I'm panicking, and I'm building walls and stairs all around the place um, because of that rock. That rock is there and it's caused this much obstruction, so don't build near rocks or anything, otherwise you will do things like this and leave yourself exposed. Now, the guy who shot me, I don't know if it's him, the person that was running, or if it was somebody else's dead, because you can see all that loot up there. Now, I'm inside the circle, in a good position, and I think to myself, again, bandage up, get healed up. The good point about here now, I've got a sniper rifle, and this is where I can do a little bit more damage, I feel. So I'm back up to 75 health, and the guy's running, bang, miss him with a shot. Well, I think he went through his legs, to be fair, but he uh, gave away my position. He knows this little one-by-one... -one it has been seen you'll know that's probably where the shot came from so the problem now i'm facing is a storm is now on my back and i need to move towards the center of the circle now i see this other guy and they take shots at each other we miss each other and i'm looking through here it's all about angles create a little gap and i wish he'd just popped out a little before and he just obviously realized that i had moved into a position that was much better than his so he leaves 
and decides not to engage. Clever move on his part. Can't argue with that. And the other mistake I think I make in this game is what you're about to see. I think I should have built up and over the water. I would have left myself exposed, but I would have been in a position where I would have had the higher ground and um, take a shot there, hit the rock. Don't know how I never hit him in the head. Absolutely shocking shooting from me. And I think he actually moves out because he's trapped between two people. Caught with a lovely round there. And um, another player eliminated. Now we're down to the last seven. So I start to build up and I fall off. What I should have done, I should have just went back and carried on. Because I've built up and up and up, I would have been above everybody and I could have made a lovely little fort there. And that would have put me in probably the best position over everybody. Instead, I decided to hit the low ground. And this is the mistake. You know, you cannot play this game being this low down. It, it doesn't work. And, and I realize and I've learned that now. Higher ground all the way. But we'll see what happens for the rest of the game now. So I'm pretty sure I'm in the circle and start to build again and again look what I've done I've built near rocks again I've built near an obstruction it's so frustrating you know because it's panic I'm just panicking you know it's, it's just stay calm if I'd stayed calm I would have got there I would have done better but I didn't I panicked so I had to re I had to relocate I had to get out of that spot and it was just an absolute nightmare I mean there you go look I don't even know what to do I mean anybody who's got aim on me could could take me out by this point and um they just didn't i mean i don't know why i haven't been shot yet to be honest with you there's six players left so i'm camping out here hoping that somebody will camping out do you get it camping site camping out so i'm trying to heal up a bit more so i can't got a sniper checking out there's loot pardon me loot over there and i can hear i think i'm pretty sure i can hear something or someone and then what happens is i can see the the storm is coming in, so I need to move my butt and get inside that circle. Otherwise, the storm is going to start taking some health off me. And right now, that is vital. Scope around, making sure everyone. I'm trying to scope every angle to make sure nobody has an angle on me. And I run down into this little ditch. And look, I actually lose. I actually put. I actually make myself lose the high ground. See if I've actually here. Guys, got a rocket launcher. Oh, how did that wall not get me? So I'm now the circle's moved again. There you go, another massive tip. I never reloaded. I had a clear sight on that guy and I missed it. So we're fighting away. He's now gone down. He's collecting. He just got a purple scar, so I miss him again. And what happens? We're aiming away, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what can I do? And I build another one by one. I should have built across. What I should have done there is I should have built across the water while they were all fighting with each other instead of trying to get engaged. Don't chase the kills, chase the win. That's the key. And I fluffed my lines. Clocked him in there. He's building up as well because he obviously knows he's in a position where somebody's going to take shots at him. And I'm now thinking to myself, I need to get across. And somebody starts taking out my fort. And I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. And then, good night, Vienna. Shot right through the dome. Now, this guy has probably the best place in the whole entire endgame moment. You know, he's high above the tree. Nobody can see him. And he's looking down on everybody. He can even see that guy that's here. There's two more players left. So, yeah. Not a win, but still enjoyed playing that game. Okay, so we never won the game. We got third place. I can only speak for myself, but what I know is that I don't win every single game. I can't win every single game because it's not feasible, right? I mean, everyone, there's days where you're going to have bad games. There's days where you're going to have good games. Don't get me wrong. I am going to get you a video where I'll come first. I'm determined in that. Oh, I'm determined in that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.